Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the new hamburger and hot dog cookbook of 1970, we're going to be making the Swiss mm, wiener sandwich. Um, in 1970, Paul McCartney left the Beatles. Apollo 13 launched for the moon, but then had to return because of malfunctioning equipment. And actor and comedian Melissa McCarthy was born, and uh, I turned two. Okay, first thing we have to do is mix up chopped up hot dog with a chopped up hard boiled egg, chunks of Swiss cheese, chopped up cabbage, chopped parsley, chopped olives, chopped mayonnaise, and chopped sour cream. Then we get it all mixed together and hope this is good because I've made a lot. Then we put that onto rye bread. Okay, let's give this Swiss wiener sandwich a go. For as many ingredients as in this sandwich, it is remarkably bland. Barely tasting the hot dog, mostly tasting the sour cream and the rye bread. Yeah, we definitely need to plus this thing up. I'm gonna add some of this green chutney that I made. It's got arugula, it's got cilantro, it's got uh, serrano peppers. It's going to liven things up considerably. I'm also gonna toast it. Okay, let's give this Swiss wiener sandwich plussed up with a little spicy green chutney and a toasting a go. First of all, that green chutney is very tasty with the arugula, the cilantro, and the serrano pepper. So it's bringing a lot of flavor to the party. Plus, when we heat things up, flavors start to meld. Now the Swiss cheese is melty, which is nice, and we get the crunch and the flavor of the toast on the outside. Okay, so the original Swiss wiener sandwich, you know, it had a lot in it, but it needed some seasoning and it needed something extra. So uh, I'm gonna give that probably about a four and a half. Plus up with the spicy green chutney that had arugula, cilantro, and serrano pepper, and then given the uh, toast in the oven there. To me, that's now like a seven. That is a really tasty sandwich. I'm glad I have leftover now, as opposed to before when I was sad I had leftover. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish that. Will I make this again? Nah, probably not. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.